Hi guys, welcome back to another quick and short video. I'm going to try and make this as fast as possible because load shedding. If you're in South Africa, you know about load shedding. Power outages, basically for those that are not in South Africa. So I'm not sure what time power is going to go out where I am. So I'm going to quickly just do this video. Somebody requested uh, this uh, robot. So I'm going to just to try and show you the basics of how to make this video let's just delete this this is from the previous robot that we did uh, watch the previous video if you want to understand how what robot we were making and how we created it okay so we are going today today to do a basic forex trading system with the momentum indicator apparently the momentum indicator is very effective to find out the sentiment of market price it helps get to get uh, ideas about market strength so basically apparently you can use this momentum indicator as a gauge for when to enter the market for buys when to enter the market for sales so the buy uh, rules basically the market should start uh, uptrend rally then momentum indicator needs to cross 100 level from lower to upper that's what's happening there let me just open this in a new tab so that we understand what's happening there so momentum crosses above 100 level from lower level to the upper level then for us that's an indication that market is pushing up and we buy and here they targeted 230 pips then for a sell momentum should cross the 100 level again to below that level and here they collected about 100 pips here they collected uh, 70 pips so i think i guess it it, it, it there is no true amount of pips that you can uh, aim for but it goes up and down depending on uh, market conditions so that's basically how this works that's basically how this works so place uh, buy order after uh, closing the bullish uh, candle or whatever then obviously the the opposite is what we use for the uh, sales okay so in terms of time frame it uses the one hour and four hour time frame which is more preferable for more gain but it can be used for scalping that's what they are saying uh currency pairs apparently all trending currency pairs can can be used with this uh, strategy and take profit will be 50 to 200 pips for h4 time frame for lower time frame you can set tp according to market momentum stop loss will be between 30 and 60 pips you can set stop loss on swing high or swing low okay so the market needs to be in a trending market whatever whatever that they are saying okay so let's set up uh, this thing quickly before uh, power goes out obviously we are going to start uh here check trades uh first make sure that there are no open trades that the robot has placed so that we avoid having the robot open a thousand trades then we also want to limit the robot to look for signal only once per bar because if the robot continues to look for signals on the same bar it's going to be tempted to open a thousand trades on one signal we don't want that it's an easy recipe for blowing accounts then condition will come here and set our buys here and our sales there then we just link everything together like that we are going to double click and go in there and we are going to look for our momentum indicator and the conditions for a buy so we are going to say indicator momentum momentum uh, needs to cross over we don't want to be is above because they need to continue opening new trades uh, we want at the moment of crossover uh, let me do this we want at the moment of crossover otherwise if we just say is above as long as it's above it's going to continue opening new trades we don't want that we want to limit trades so unless you want it to continue opening new trades because then you can leave it as 
is above but here we want to say when it crosses over then obviously we want it to cross over the 100 line so we're going to put 100 uh, there and we are going to update that's essentially all you need to do this that's essentially all you need to do that and then we can get a buy now block just like that and to set ourselves we just copy that and we paste and we link it like that easy peasy and we set for our cell condition and we are like that and double click and go in there and we change this to below the moment it crosses uh, below and we update we double click and go in there and we set our stop loss uh, you can change your lot sizing there or whatever you fits you um, our stop loss here we were given something like what 30 to 60 pips and tp 50 to 100 to 200 so maybe we can set it to uh 30 pips and we'll set it we'll set the lowest uh tp allowed there which is 50 and we leave it uh, like that and update again double click and go in there and just set that to 30 pips stop loss and update here you can change your lot size to whatever you desire basically we are done with our robot uh let me see if there's anything else that we might uh, need here uh let's see let's see if there's something that we might need uh on this uh, robot oh yes uh they said the buy order buy order after closing uh the bullish candle so we we'll need to have a bullish candle candle should be bullish in order to fill the condition of this strategy that uh, that's what they are saying and here we need a bearish candle for uh, that uh, for that okay so yeah okay let's uh let's uh quickly get into that we'll come to here where it says uh, various signals here you can find everything uh, that you might need we can see here there's a bullish candle so i'll just click here to disconnect uh, that connection and just move this uh, down here and we place in a bullish candle uh, in there and we link it like that so we need the momentum indicator to cross the 100 line and we need to have a bullish candle when it does that's what we are saying here we double click and go in there and just see if we yeah let's just uh, keep the candle id at one uh you can set the minimum board size uh in pips for the candle maybe you you want to avoid tiny tiny candles and you only want uh, like uh, big candles uh, that might signify momentum so here you can actually decide on the minimum board size of the candle that you are looking for in pips again you are trying to narrow down to only get the premium the premium trade so you don't want to take every and uh, and other uh, every other trade you are the premium so yeah i think let's uh, leave it as default uh, like that then we just normal click uh, there to disconnect that and we move it uh, below like that then we get our bearish candle there and we just link everything if you double click again in there uh, really nothing to uh, uh, to write home about and we update and we link it uh, like that i think basically we are done i think that's basically this strategy as a forex robot in fx streamer and obviously if you want to be able to close uh, these trades without using uh, the tp or stop loss uh, we've done uh, several videos uh, here i've shown you how 
to close your trades when they move the opposite uh, direction so watch uh, uh, the videos on this uh, channel guys you just need then to change the name of your robot here uh, let's uh, what's the fancy name I don't know a fancy name that you'd give your robot uh, let's call it uh, dead in the water I don't even know what, what that means it just came in my mind okay uh, maybe I'm not very original with uh, names for the robots but then you click done there and then there you can download the source file for your robot and the executable file for your robot that you can give your friends if you don't want them to look at your at your code what is this that I tried to download earlier which didn't some photo that did not download okay the discard so yeah basically this is how you turn this into a forex robot very easy to do very easy to do guys subscribe like the video leave your comments in the comment section below i hope this gives you ideas the purpose of this channel is to give you ideas subscribe like the videos i'll see you in the next one bye